Howdy everyone. I'm back at it again. It's a beautiful day for some kayak fishing. We're gonna head out here in the kayak today and try to catch some largemouth bass. And I've got a really interesting lure we're gonna throw at them. So what I've got here today is a turtle lure. This is the Lunker Hunt prop turtle. Really an interesting looking lure and I think it would probably be a good one for this lake. Looking at it, it looks like it's got a weedless design. It's got the two hooks, kind of like a hollow body frog, and then it's got the stinger hook off the back that faces upward to hopefully prevent it from hooking into any of this kind of stuff down here. And then it's got the two feet that spin around, kind of like a double whopper plopper. So I think it would be a good one for covering some deeper water as well, which on this lake should be a great thing because I seem to catch bass both out deep and up shallow right along the shoreline. So wherever they are, that turtle should be able to catch them. At least that's what I'm hoping for. We'll hop in the kayak. We're gonna try the turtle lure out here today and I can't wait to find out if bass actually eat turtles. What an absolutely perfect day to be out here in the kayak. I just wanna give that turtle a cast here real quick and see what kind of action he's got with those feet. It doesn't make quite as much noise as say a whopper plopper would, but I think it should be plenty of commotion on this lake with this clear water. My other concern is how well he will go through the weeds, whether or not those two feet are going to get hung up on the lily pads and whatnot in here. Got some bluegill cruising along the edge of the weeds here. We'll toss him up shallow once, see how he does in the thicker stuff. Oh yeah, he definitely grabbed some stuff <laughs> right away there. Yeah, got it with that stinger hook on the back. I wonder if he landed upside down there. He seemed to get through the muck up there all right. I don't think he really caught much. I only caught a little string of something there. Yeah, I'd, I'd say maybe don't throw that turtle up into the real, real thick stuff, but usually what I target are the little openings within the patches of lily pads, the little gaps. That's usually where I'll find those fish hanging out anyway, so. This time of year, the lily pads aren't grown in real thick yet either. I don't think it's really the lily pads that turtle is going to grab. It's more so these clumps of dead weeds that are sitting along the top. But I think for the most part, I'll work that turtle along the outer edge of the lily pads they aren't quite so thick. And if I, if I see any real fishy looking spots up closer to the shoreline there, we'll toss that turtle up there. Oh, that's awesome. Good way to start the morning, you guys. A little bit of muck on his foot there. I'll try a couple of casts out into some deeper water.
thinking for the most part the bass are going to be up shallow today. We've got a lot of dragonflies buzzing around, but sometimes they wait until late morning. Once the sun warms up that shallow water a bit to really move up. But it's about 8 a.m. right now. It shouldn't take too long for that to happen today. I seem to do best with the shallow topwater bite out here when that sun is shining. It seems to get those fish moving up shallow once it warms up. Well, I'm still looking for that first smash of the day on the turtle lure. <laughs> Been fishing my way along for probably 45 minutes now. I might just need to get to the right part of the lake. I'm working my way down here to this end. It's kind of the shallow end of the lake. Mid-June, I think those fish are gonna be hanging around pretty close to their spawn areas still. And this end being the shallow end of the lake, I'd imagine a lot of fish spawn down there. We'll give them a couple of casts out into some deeper water here. I'm just going to give them a steady, a little bit of a faster retrieve. Kind of like a whopper plopper. <laughs> Something grabbed it there. Is it a bass? I think it was. Oh yeah, nice bass. All right, you get back up here. It's got me wrapped up on a lily pad here. Come here, you. We'll get him in the net. Well, I've been fishing shallow most of the day. Maybe that's been a mistake and I need to be tossing that turtle out a little bit deeper. First fish of the day on the prop turtle though. Yeah, he smacked that thing, giving it a little bit of a faster, steady retrieve out there. Nice. Well, we are on the board. I'm not giving up on the shallow water bite yet. <laughs> I think that's where the real, real big fish are gonna come today. Just gotta find those spots where they're hiding. Well, I caught one out there in some deeper water. I'm gonna do the same thing. See, maybe those fish are just out a little bit deeper right now. Looking for that steady moving lure. We'll give it a few pauses here and there. Ooh, that was something nice. Fishy, fishy. I got him. Oh, that was cool. Oh, he shook it right next to the kayak, dang it. Oh, that was still pretty cool though. Saw that fish hit the surface over here. Tossed that turtle at him and <laughs> he smashed it. Oh man, I wish I could have got that one in, but still pretty cool though. We'll see, maybe he's got a buddy or two over here. This looks like a nice fishy spot up here. What was that? 
Is that another big old bass? I don't think that other one I just saw jump there was quite as big as the one that I just missed. Or the one that just shook my turtle, I should say. I did get my hooks in him momentarily. Got a big old beaver lodge here. Got lots of bass around those. We'll see if this one's holding a big one today. holding something over there. I missed him though. Swing and a miss. Of course he tangled up my turtle. All right, got my turtle all fixed up. Let's toss him back over there. Oh, I actually got hooks in that one for about three seconds. I was just a little baby bass. Something's looking at him. I think it's just a little baby bass is probably what I missed over there. Usually the big ones don't really miss it. They come up and absolutely inhale those topwater lures. Yeah, I just haven't had a whole lot of luck finding the big ones yet today. I don't know. Maybe they're all hanging out in deep water, recovering from spawn. Usually I'd find some up shallow this time of year, but it has been real warm up here. Well, the water temp is up to where I would usually see it like mid-August. So maybe it got a little bit too warm up shallow for some of these fish, I don't know. There's a fish hanging out up shallow. Yeah, that's not a bad one. Not a monster, but not a baby by any means. Hey, <laughs> floppy little guy. All right, we found one. I have spent the last hour, hour and a half fishing my way around this end of the lake down here, the shallow end of the lake, but did not find a thing down there on the shallow end. Just kind of weird, usually I will this time of year, but it's been really warm up here so far this summer and I think it got the water warmed up a little bit quicker than those fish like, so. Working my way back out here onto the main part of the lake. I'm probably still gonna fish up shallow, but at least in here, those fish have a little bit easier access to deeper water. And we found one already. It's nice to see after not much action for the last hour and a half. I'm starting to wonder if maybe those fish just weren't interested in top water today, but I think we just need to work our way out here onto the main part of the lake again. See if we can find where those big bass are hanging out. That's a big fish, you guys. Oh, you stay on there. Whew. 
Woohoo! There we go. Oh, that is the kind of fish I was looking for. Look at that, he came up and clobbered that turtle lure. Yeah, he was hanging out shallow up there, right off the shoreline. Tossed Mr. Turtle up there and this guy crushed it. Whew. Awesome fish. a real nice bass swimming around right up here in front of me. I'm not quite sure where he went, but I backed off, tied on my wacky worm as quick as I could. We're going to see if we can catch him. We've got school of bluegill just chewing on that worm over here too. He's taking me for a ride. <laughs> Come on up here, you. Wow. Look at that fish. Man, how much fun is that when you see a bass like that just swimming right next to you? drop that wacky worm in front of him and watch him inhale it. I could never get tired of watching that. Beast of a largemouth. Man, what a pretty fish. pretty fishy. There should be something hanging out up here. I probably said that about a dozen different spots today, but this one looks really fishy. I saw that fish wake coming toward my lure. Oh no, oh, oh, I had him, I freaking shook it. Oh, I think I knocked him off with my net. Grr, oh. Well, that makes me a little bit angry. Darn it. Well, we can't end the day like that. Oh, I thought that fish shook it. And then I noticed he was still on there. Right as I think I knocked him off with my net. Probably my worst net job ever. That was a good 
four pound bass there, I bet. Well, that was the one I was looking for to finish the day off on. I guess we'll keep looking. <laughs> oh, all I can do is laugh. It happens. Can't catch them all, I guess. I'm going to chuck one over that way. It's kind of a weed edge over there. We'll run Mr. Turtle along that and see if something comes up and says hello to him. Oh man, I'm still bummed I lost that big one. Got about a quarter of the lake left to fish to find redemption still. I'd say we've got about a one in three chance since we found one real nice bass on the other 75% of the lake. <laughs> but the shoreline that we have left is usually productive this time of year, so I'm not giving up hope yet. I think we might still get at least one more big smash on Mr. Turtle. redemption for the one that got away. Oh, it's totally about the same size, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. I did lose the stinger hook off this lure at some point. I don't know if it was when I lost that big one or what. Little guy. Might be the last one of the day on Mr. Turtle. All right, you guys, I've made it back here to where I started from. No last minute monster today, unfortunately. Yeah, it was definitely a grind out here today. I did find a few fish willing to hit top water, but I think for the most part, a lot of the bigger bass are just out in deeper water due to a combination of recovering from spawn and the hot weather that we've had up here the past couple of weeks. I just didn't see much up shallow today. Usually I'll see a bunch of big fish kind of cruising the edge of the lily pads out here. Aside from the few that we caught with the turtle, really the only big fish I saw out here today was that one that I sight fished in with the wacky worm. So yeah, we had to work for them today, but it was still a fun day. We found out bass do in fact eat turtles. Honestly, I think anything that they can fit in their mouth is fair game to become their next meal. And my thoughts on the turtle lure, well, it's not terrible, but it's not great. I mean, it, it does an okay job of fishing up through the lily pads and whatnot. My problem was that I was pulling weeds off this thing every three or four casts. If you can see his feet, they kind of have a hook-like shape, which really likes to grab the floating junk. I wish they gave it a little bit more of an angle so stuff would just slide off those feet. And as far as fishing him in deeper water, I mean, he's got okay action, but I'd rather just bring two rods, have a hollow body frog tied on one for this thick shallow stuff, and then toss the whopper plopper on for the deeper water. I mean, the whopper plopper is going to have better action than this and much better odds of actually getting hooks into those fish that hit it. But all in all, I mean, it's not a terrible lure. It's probably not gonna stay in my tackle box. And I don't know, it's just interesting to get out and catch some fish on a turtle lure. I always get a kick out of the weird lures. Well, that's gonna do it for today's trip. I hope you guys enjoyed the day out here on the lake with me. I had a lot of fun. Thanks for coming along with me again. I'll see you next time.